Hello, my dear students. Welcome to our program for science, third prep stage. Today, we have another session about hormones. What is the feedback of this hormone and what is the function of each one of them? And we have many, many information about insulin. Let's start our lesson today and concentrate with me very, very well. Let's go. So here the second part of hormones and body or human body and the feedback here. What's meant by feedback? For first time, we have the feedback here. It means what? It means this is feedback mechanism. Mechanism, it means automatic activity that happened in our bodies to make what? To make these parts or to make all the work or all the activities inside our body. So we have the feedback like this. We have it is a mechanism with which the hormones act to achieve the hormones or homostasis in our body what's meant by homostasis here it means what it means the harmonic work or harmonic harmonic activities with each other how does these hormones act to achieve the the hormone or the activities inside our body by harmony so this harmony it's found in our body automatically because what because our body or most of our systems work automatically without control so this feedback mechanism it is the definition of this one it's the mechanism which which or with which or by which the hormone act to achieve the homostasis in human body so after that we have here which of these parts of the body are involved in the feedback process that regulates the blood glucose so here we have a glucose. What's meant by this? I need a thing or what is the, what is the feedback or what is the mechanism that happened between these parts here to make what to make. We have the first one, pituitary gland in, in the or behind or, or under the brain. And we have pancreas, the second one. And we have the liver, the third part. So these parts here, we have many of them. We have many function of each one of them. What is the mechanism? What is the harmony between them to make what to work on glucose? Meaning here work on glucose to decrease or increase the level of glucose according to what? According to the activity needed by this body. So and the liver, okay, are all involved in what? In regulating the blood glucose to make regulation, to make it in regular state or in the normal state. What's happened here? So here... We have the first one or first part if I have the increasing of of what of glucose increasing the blood glucose in our blood what will happen in this case so we have what if I have the pancreas decrease or in increase or what we have the pancreas here that's worked by by what by the brain ductless or de detects the level of the glucose in the blood is the first part the brain find out what is the level of glucose in blood automatically when the level of blood glucose increase above the normal so what hormone does which hormone does the pancreas release or produce which one of these hormones this is insulin hormone so the insulin hormone it makes what it makes like this so the insulin it moves from what from the pancreas by the effect of pituitary gland so the pancreas is stimulated to release insulin by what by the pancreas by the brain or by pituitary gland that make this stimulating one so the insulin stimulates the liver to what to take the glucose from the blood and convert it into glycogen what's meant by these names it's very difficult mister no 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 it is not difficult it's very easy one by one step by step so we have the insulin stimulates in the liver to take what to take glucose from the blood and collect it in a form of what form in another form to store it i cannot put the glucose as itself in the in the liver because we have a very very dangerous chemical reaction that happened inside the liver for example if i put the glucose so we have what we have this activity doesn't complete and we have big problem here but it's converted which one is convert insulin 
convert glucose to what? To glycogen. Glycogen, it means what? It's another form of glucose that collected and put it inside what? Inside the liver to, to not make any one of what? Of the activities or to don't make any one of the chemical reactions here. So which one is stored in the, in the liver? Again, in last time, the pituitary gland, it makes it stimulating for pancreas. If the brain take a message or take an information about, about what? About increasing the, the sugar in the blood. So we have increasing the sugar in the blood. The brain take a message for what? For the, from, from the blood and give order to what? To the pituitary gland to make it's a stimulating hormone. And we have this hormone from what? From, from the from the pituitary gland to move it to what to the pancreas and the pancreas by itself it produces what insulin by a large amount inside our body we talk about the normal state again we talk about the normal state without any without any disease without any diabetes without any any type of injunction here so here we have this one the pancreas that move out insulin by a by a little amount or increase more than normal to make what to make the insulin hormone that secreted to the blood and change that or convert the sugar or glucose sugar into what into glycogen so which is stored in the liver to to what to store it inside the liver if i need this part or this glycogen to make activities in some cases without eating, without drinking sugar, without drinking juices, in the feast, in any situation, I find it like this. After that, so the level of glucose in the blood decrease. What will happen? Causing the pancreas stop producing insulin. So here we have this one, or the glucose sugar. We have this is the last step of this part. So the level of glucose in the blood decreases, causing what? Causing the pancreas to stop producing the insulin. To make what? To move the blood glucose sugar into what? In the normal level. I don't need decreasing more than the normal level. Because what? Because I need sugar. But the increasing or the rest of the sugar or the the large amount of sugar that unwanted by the blood, it's stored in the liver. So here we have this one. The level of glucose in the blood decreases, causing the pancreas to stop production or producing insulin. And the brain take a message from what? From the liver to, to what? To stop, to, to make or to give order for the pancreas to stop the insulin hormone. After that, this is the mechanism of, of the diabetes or the mechanism of increasing or decreasing the glucose sugar from the high level to the normal level. It's what, in this case, we talk about the normal case without any diseases of sugar, without any diabetes disease. After that, we have another mechanism. Negative feedback also occurs when the blood of glucose level decrease. During what? During situation of you you don't eat your breakfast for example and you don't eat anything all over the day and we have some parts or one month like ramadan we have feast here in this part in the morning from sunrise to sunset so i need energy here so the energy so here we have negative feedback also occurs when the blood glucose level decrease in the feast or without eating we have no sugar in the blood we have no glucose sugar in the blood, but what will happen? How can we make our activities, our studying, our, our work? So this time the brain detects the blood glucose and the brain take an order from the blood. We have no, we have no glucose sugar. I need it to make energy. So it makes the pituitary gland. It makes an order to the, the pancreas to make what? to decrease the insulin or to increase, yes, to increase that called glucagon. This glucagon, it makes what? It makes this activity. So the glucagon hormone that moved out what? That moved out from or produced or released from, from the pancreas 
to reach the liver and what's happening here so the pancreas produces the hormone of glucagon hormone glucagon stimulates the liver or activate the liver or give order to the liver to convert the glycogen back to the to what to glucose again and release this glucose into the blood stream what's meant by this i take or glucagon move to the to the liver from pancreas to make activation for the liver or to move out the glycogen and in the same time change it into what into glucose again and this glucose move is very easy to move to the blood if i have anyone that has a disease or it's it has suffocation for example or anything like this and we have what or coma for example if i have this part so we need to or we have it means what it means we have no sugar in our blood so the blood here it means what it needs sugar so we drink some kind of juice very very fast and the, the glucagon move out some kind of what of or some amount of this glycogen and change it or convert it into glucose again to make what to make this glucose move in the blood and the blood take the gluco glucose to all parts of the body to make activities especially for for heart for example to boom to, to bump the blood to make the brain activate to make our body activate to make it my work or to make anything or any activity during this part or during this situation without eating so here this is a very good thing to know this information about what about the pancreas in last time we have the level of we have the level of glucose in the blood increase causing the pancreas to stop production of glucagon to make what to decrease the blood on glucose and we have glucagon glucagon increase the blood glucose so here this part the brain take an order from what from the liver to stop the secretion of pancreas so this part it's the level of glucose in the blood increasing so causing the pancreas to stop stop production of what of glucagon to what to make the sugar or blood glucose in the normal state also so here we have the normal state here so here in this part we have the insulin it's very very important and the glucagon in the same time it's very important but we have some persons or the old persons that has diabetes why we have diabetes we have many things about the diabetes it is the disease that happened in the living organism or the person because the pancreas it will be lazy to what to produce or to secrete these hormones if i have increasing of insulin so we have what we have decreasing of the level of sugar our, or sugar level in our blood and if i have the the decreasing of glucagon hormone so we have the glucagon hormone cannot move the blood or cannot move the sugar or glycogen from liver so we have a disease we have a big problem here to make what to make some kind of diseases in our body so it is very very important to know this information about diabetes and make your balance or your by large amount no it's i needed to normal amount to make what to protect our body from this dangerous disease let's go to complete our session now about what about the feedback so after that in last time we have the level of glucose in the blood okay increases causing the pancreas to stop the production of glycogen after this part we have what we have a small exercise about the liver and pancreas work together to regulate the level of blood glucose so do you know how these organs work when the blood glucose is too low or too high it means too low it means what it means decrease and too high it means what it means increase so we have blood glucose is too low here so we have what Num number one how does this how do these organs increase the blood glucose level so the low glucose here it's like this so here we have what we have the insulin insulin comes out from what from this part from the pancreas and we have the glucose that found here in what in the in the blood and we have the glycogen glycogen it's formed of what here 
we have the increasing of the blood glucose level how do this organ increase the blood glucose so increase the blood glucose this is low blood glucose so here we have insulin here no it's what it's another one like this we have what we have glucagon hormone that found here from what from the pancreas and this glucagon it changed the glycogen in what glycogen that found here in the blood or in the liver and here we have the glucagon hormone or glycogen or glucose so we have glucose here that move to the blood and here we have glycogen change into glucose after that we have the last part here we have we have here decreasing of the blood here sugar it's what it is glycogen here so here this is the decreasing of what decreasing of or increasing the blood glucose level after that we have the blood glucose too high we have high level of glucose what will happen for pancreas we have insulin hormone that's what that's happened or that move from pancreas to the blood to make what to make to the glucose and we have the glucose here inside the blood change into what change into glyco glycogen okay so the glycogen it's found or stored in the liver here so this is part this part it means high blood glucose sugar so if i have high blood glucose sugar it has what it has it is very important to know this part about insulin and the change the glucose that found here in the blood change it into from glucose to glycogen that is stored in the liver here to make what to make its function of this hormone with an amazing system that can protect it from dangers. Even a remote danger is enough to trigger an immense mobilization in our bodies. All parts of our bodies are immediately informed of this new danger so that relevant measures can be taken in necessary areas. The communication system which functions so swiftly to activate this rapid defense mechanism works by the means of hormones. After our eyes see the danger, this piece of information is immediately taken to the brain, which in turn warns the various parts of the body by the use of the hormones. The hormones travel by the nervous system or the blood circulation to convey the information to the whole body. When the messenger in the blood, in other words, the hormone reaches a cell, the cell gates open, allowing the signal to get in. As a result of a series of reactions, a new messenger, another hormone, will be formed. This newly produced hormone will also set off the other cells of the body. These tiny messengers that cause a chain reaction in the cells warn the entire body in a matter of seconds against the impending danger. After that, the body is ready to protect itself with the amazing defense reflexes given to it. Each structure in the body has a unique defense system. The hormones in accordance with that display an amazing intelligence and ensure that some muscles contract while others relax. For example, when the messenger molecule reaches the skin, it sticks to the root of the hair and orders the tiny muscle cells to contract. Thus, in case of a danger, the hairs on the skin will go up. In the meantime, some of these signals are sent to the cells covering the sweat glands and trigger the sweating process. However, the measure taken for the vital organs of the body is different. This time, the very same hormones order the cells to relax so that the blood go into those organs more easily. For example, the messenger molecule reaching the lung first aims at the muscle cells surrounding the bronchus. But this time, it does the opposite of what it did with the skin cells and orders the muscle cells surrounding the bronchus to relax. As a result, bronchus expands, gets more oxygen, and thus releases more oxygen into the blood circulation. The protein machine inside every muscle cell is different. For this reason, the same type of messenger can warn different zones, causing relaxation and contraction at the same time. The stress hormones, which are made of only proteins and lack any decision mechanisms, also always take the right action. They know which organ must be defended and act accordingly. 
Because Almighty Allah created them for this reason, He keeps them under control every minute. These facts about hormones, which are merely proteins, make the Darwinists completely uncomfortable. Because no part of this amazing system can be explained with coincidences. On the contrary to the ideas of Darwinists that attribute all these amazing reactions to random, unconscious and coincidental processes, the hormones display conscious acts in wisdom and abilities such as plan making, measure taking, setting time. Surely within such a system there is no room for even a single unconscious move. Therefore the proteins once more destroy the idea of evolution. The hormones that ensure cellular communication in our body act not randomly, but according to the magnificent creation of Allah. I seek refuge with Allah from the accursed Satan. Do you then disbelieve in Him who created you from dust, then from a drop of sperm, and then informed you as a man? He is, however, Allah my Lord, and I will not associate anyone with my Lord. It's amazing. So we have this system. It's found in our body to control all activities inside our body. How can does this one or this organ work by hormones? The systems work with what? By the effect of hormones. And this is harmony between the hormones and the system. Now we have another part about feedback and disease. What's meant to buy diseases here? Diseases that happen or takes place by what? By decreasing or increasing the hormone. Let's go to see this part and it is very important, very interesting for you. So we have the diseases that happen by decreasing or increasing the hormone secretion. So the first part, we have the pituitary gland. If I have increasing or decreasing this part, dwarfism. What's meant to by dwarfism? Dwarfism, it means a part or a disease that happened by the person to decrease its length. So the disease that happened by decreasing the secretion of growth hormone in the early stage of the human age. It's happened in the early stage when we are children. So if anyone or any person in his early stage, in the second year or third year or tenth year, for example, of his age, so decreasing of the dwarfism, so or decreasing of the hormone or growth hormone so it contains what or causes the dwarfism dwarfism here it is again it is a disease that happened by decreasing the secretion of growth hormone in early stages of our human age let's go to see another part the opposite of this one because we have dwarfism we have giantism giantism it means what it means the very very large long or very large Length of what of the body like this picture so we have the first one it's giantism and the second one beside it beside him we have dwarfism so here this is the disease that happened by increasing the secretion of growth hormone it is not good thing because what because we have abnormal secretion of the hormones inside our bodies so that length it is it's a good thing and we have the dwarfism or the decreasing of the lens. It is a good thing also. But if I have this case, it is called a disease. So this is the disease that's happened by increasing the secretion of growth hormone in the early stage of the human age. The same thing. If I increasing or decreasing, we have a disease of giantism or, or what? Or dwarfism. Let's go to see another part or another disease like this by the hormones. We have what? We have simple goiter. What's meant to buy simple goiter? This is what? This is the disease that happened by decreasing of the secretion of thyroxine, thyroxine hormone. Thyroxine hormone here, it decreases. So here this decreasing, it means a goiter. Goiter it means or simple goiter. Your eyes is open like this in this picture. We have bulging of eyes. So we have bulging here. It means what? It means simple goiter. Because what? Because this thyroxine or normal thyroid gland, it's what? It makes enlarging or it has enlarged thyroid gland. So this one, 
It makes what? It makes it the disease that's happened by decreasing the secretion of thyroxine hormone. And we have what? We have this is bulging K of ice. So it's called exophthalmus or simple goiter. So after that, so we have another disease about what? About exophthalmic goiter. Exophthalmic goiter, it means what? It means a disease that's happened by increasing the secretion of thyroxine. It means what? It means the thyroid gland, it has enlarging or increase in its volume. And it makes secretion more than the normal to make what? To make some kind of tumor in the neck. And we have what we have beside the thyroid gland or on the front of, of the thyroid gland. And it makes what? It makes the goiter or exophthalmic goiter. That's accompanied with what? Accompanied with with a tumor, tumor inside the neck or increasing the volume of the neck. So we have this part is very, very dangerous because the, the, this part or this thyro, thyro, uh, thyroid gland that makes these secretions, so we have decreasing of what? Decreasing of weight. And what? And it's decreasing of the insulin. No, it is not insulin. It's the decreasing of what? Decreasing of calcitonin hormone that doesn't make its work normally so we have another disease like increasing the blood pressure for example and so on so we have this one is very very dangerous diseases for us after that we have some exercises about how you knowledge about what about the hormones let's start so what is the hormone also known as chemical reaction or chemical change or chemical messengers or chemical energy so we have the chemical messengers right so this one it means what it means chemical messages from what from the glands or endocrine glands to all parts of the body next we have the second one which body system involved with the production of hormones endocrine system or nervous system circulatory system digestive system it's very easy to know we have endocrine system let's go to see another one which in the crying gland that produced the hormone of insulin and the glucagon mister it's pancreas right excellent very good we have pancreas here that makes this secretion of these two important hormones let's go to see another one which hormone do the ovaries produced insulin and glucagon estrogen and adrenaline estrogen and the progesterone testosterone and progesterone so here we have insulin and glucagon they are out because we have pancreas estrogen and adrenaline mister no 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 is wrong why because we have two hormones here that found here estrogen and the progesterone because they are responsible for the pregnancy and laboring okay all the time dear friends i hope to enjoy your time with us this is your units or your information about hormones and its function and the feedback of each one of them. Try to study this part very well. Try to answer these questions in your books very, very well many times. If you need anything, relate or mix what makes the information and search for, for this one or this information in the internet. Tell you meet again in another session about science. Tell you meet again. Thank you and goodbye everybody.